Mr. Narendran, welcome. It's great to see you back in the UK once again. Um, it's been, you've been here for two days. It's been a, a busy couple of days. You've been talking to various stakeholders, talking to various members of the workforce. Uh, what kind of conversations have you been having? What kind of things have you been talking about over the past two days? Yeah, you know, I'm here every month now, largely to spend time with uh, everyone impacted by this transition. You know, the community is impacted, our employees are impacted, the leadership is impacted. So I think the more time I spend here, the more I hear to, uh, get to hear different voices. Uh, I fully understand the challenges, but uh, it's also important that we transition into a future which is more secure and greener. So I think uh, it's part of this journey. Happy to spend as much time as required on the ground with the people, understand the sentiments, communicate as much as I can, and help in whatever way I can in this transition. So this morning we're here at the Boss Plant here in Port Talbot. Um, why is it important to visit here first of all, and what's the significance of this particular area? You know, this is where the electric arc furnace is going to come up. So while I'd seen it uh, on the plans, on the paper, in the presentations, I wanted to see for myself, understand the challenges uh, that the team is dealing with, the problems that they're solving, uh, also understand the challenges of the proposal which has been given to us by the union, uh, you know, the operational complexity, because it is not just about doing a material balance, but about really uh, understanding the operational complexity of uh, all this and uh, what the teams are going through to solve the problems. So I'm really uh, happy to see the work that has gone in. I'm really looking forward to this electric arc furnace coming up here as soon as possible. And you've been around the plant this morning talking to various members of the teams. What kind of conversations have you been having and uh, what kind of things have they been asking you? I think the point which everyone is concerned about is what's going to happen, when will it happen, uh, how are they impacted, right? Uh, obviously, we are having the consultation with the unions, we're going through the, going through the process, discussing with them, uh, and uh, I know that we've started some local consultations as well. Uh, I think people are anxious to uh, see the future and what is in it for them, have more clarity in it, and I think we as management and the union need to work together to give them the clarity sooner than later uh, so that uh, we deal with the anxiety that is there. Uh, you know, there is a transition, there is a challenge, people are going to get impacted, but we want to do it uh, in the smoothest way possible. And you mentioned that word anxiety a moment ago, Mr. Rendron. There clearly is still a lot of anxiety among, among the workforce, uh, a lot of concern over the future. What guarantees can you give that the electric arc furnace will be built here? No, I mean, uh, I've said it before. I mean, that's why we are all here. That's why we're spending a lot of time. And in my view, the sooner we build it, the better for everyone, you know? So uh, the only thing stopping us is uh, agreeing on the way forward uh, uh, with all our uh, employees and the unions and uh, getting everyone on board. Because honestly, the minute we get through that, we want to place the orders, get the work started, uh, we not only will it reassure everyone that this is for real, but it will also create a lot of economic activity because spending 1.2 billion pounds uh, in Port Talbot has never happened before in a very long time. So that will create a lot of economic activity as well, which will address some of the anxiety and the concerns that people and the community have. So I think we are very, very keen to move as fast as we can, but we are respectful of the process that we need to follow. And just finally, Mr. Rendon, what would your message be to the workforce at this particular time? You know, the workforce has uh, worked with us in the past. We've gone through many restructuring, many transformation programs. Uh, I know there's a fatigue setting in saying that when will all this end? Uh, you know, it's not for want of trying. I think everyone has worked very hard. Uh, but the reality is we are in a global industry, a very competitive industry with changes with time and we need to keep pace with those changes. Right? So I think this step is a very significant step uh, because not only are we going to a process route which is greener, uh, we are doing it uh, as fast or better than most others in Europe. Uh, we are uh, also uh, you know, building for ourselves a competitive position which is sustainable in this global industry. We are leveraging local scrap. So in many ways we are creating a future which uh, I think is uh, far more secure than the one that we've done in the past, despite the effort. So, I know there's a little bit of cynicism saying that, hey, uh, this is just another plan which may not work, but, I mean, the, I mean this is the best we can uh, 
uh, you know, aspire for at this point in time. And uh, we are putting money where the mouth is to say that, hey, uh, we are willing to spend money. The government is uh, supporting us with the money that they're giving us. Uh, so the British taxpayer is invested in it. Tata Steel has always been invested in it. And, uh, you know, we think that uh, this transition will help us uh, create a greener and more sustainable future in more days one month. Well, Mr. Randolph, thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and we look forward to seeing you in your next visit. Sure. I'm here, I think, in early April again. Thank you.